Hello one and all and welcome. In this one we're going to take a look at the following question. We have an equation y equals 2x minus 4 and the question is what is the equation of the line after a 90 degree turn of the line? So first let's remind ourselves of a basic transformation that corresponds to a 90 degree turn. What that looks like is the following essentially. So 90 degree rotation means the following about the coordinates. You take the point x comma y, whatever those coordinates happen to be, and you apply the transformation that does the following. It becomes negative y comma x instead. So you interchange the role of the x and the y, and also in front of the y, you put a negative sign now. So how does this actually help us answer the question, that is, what is the equation of the line after a 90 degree turn? Let's go through that process. So a way to approach this is as follows. You can first take a point. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to replace x with 0, and I'm going to calculate the corresponding y coordinate. That's what this notation means. Over here, 0, comma, 2 times 0 minus 4. So I'm generating a point on the original line 2x minus 4. Now when I work this out, that's going to give me 0, comma, negative 4. And now let's actually apply the transformation. So the transformation as an instruction is the following. You take that green that you see there, that green 0, and then you take that negative uh, 4 in red, and you interchange and you negate. So it's going to look like the following after you do the transformation. It's going to become 4, comma, 0, and that becomes the first rotated point. So that point 4 comma 0 now is on a line that is 90 degrees rotated with respect to 2x minus 4. Let's do this one more time for one other point. Now you should know that there's nothing special about using the point uh, 0 comma negative 4. I can compute any point on the original line and rotate it 90 degrees so to speak, okay? Let's do this one more time. So I'm going to have the following now. 1 comma 2 times 1 minus 4. So again I'm just generating another point on the original line. So that's going to look like the following next, 1, comma, 2, minus 4, and then lastly that's going to become 1, comma, negative 2. So that's a point, a second point on the original line. What I can do with this now is also basically rotate it 90 degrees. So let's carry that out. That's going to look like 2, comma, negative 1. That's my second rotated point. What can I do with, this, with these two new points? Well, what I can do is simply use them to find the slope of the new line and then simply use one of those points to build the equation of the new line, you see? Now, you should know that when you rotate a line 90 degrees, that basically line becomes perpendicular to the original line. You can write the slope down also from that perhaps more elementary observation simply as negative one half. So you would take that two across the top there and you would form its negative reciprocal, which would be negative one half. But you see, you will see in a second that this also works, okay? So it's gonna look like the following. 1 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 4. So what I'm doing is the following. If you look at the color coding carefully, I'm using the rotated points to compute the slope of the new 90 degree turned line. So I'm taking this one in green and I'm subtracting the 0 in green and I'm dividing by the 2 in red diminished by the 4 in red. So that's going to give me a new slope that looks like the following here. All right, so we have this value of negative 1 half and now that basically becomes the following negative 0.5 and that is the slope of the line turned 90 degrees with respect to 2x minus 4. So what I can do now is the following. I can use this point as an example. So 4 comma 0. Again, there's nothing special about using the point 4 comma 0. You could also use the point 2 comma 1 or whatever points you have generated from doing the transformations 90 degrees. So I'm going to just use one of these points. I'm going to use the slope that I have found and I'm going to proceed as follows. I'm going to use this equation. So it's going to be y minus 0 equals negative 0 0.5 times x minus 4. So this is the slope and point form. So I'm taking the y coordinate in green, putting it next to the y. I'm taking the 4 in red, putting it next to that, so it becomes x minus 4. And remember that the slope goes in front of that whole parentheses. Now the 0 will drop away. That's the nice part. That's just going to leave us with y equals negative 0 0.5 multiplying x minus 4. Lastly, distribute that slope of negative 0.5 to each term inside the parentheses. So when I do that, it's going to look like the following. The equation of our new rotated line will be y equals negative 0.5x plus 2. So this 2 positive comes from doing negative 0.5 multiplying negative 4. That gives you a positive 2. And so then this becomes the answer. This kind of reasoning can be applied, for example, to other similar things like this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful and insightful. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video.